Welcome everybody. I want to show you how to make a vegan broth from my new book, The Sugar Brain Fix. So I want to thank my good friend, Liana Werner Gray, who created all of the incredible sugar-free recipes that you will find in my new book. Liana is the author of Cancer Free with Food and also The Earth Diet. It's just incredible to have her delicious sugar-free recipes that are going to help you to grow your brain while you are shrinking your waistline. And I see we already have some people joining us. Hey there, Dana. So nice to see you here. Um, so this is a fantastic recipe for a couple of reasons. First, the vegan broth is going to keep longer than a beef bone broth or a chicken one. You're also going to find those recipes in my new book. And by the way, if you've already pre-ordered my book, it comes out January 14th. Uh, I'm going to post a link here. You may have seen it on my Facebook page already. Or if you go to drmikedow.com, you can find the link. You will get two free bonus gifts uh, when you pre-order from any major bookseller. Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, Indigo Books, Amazon. Uh, just go ahead and put your receipt number into the website and you will get a special video, uh, a kitchen cleanup. Um, and I will show you how to get your diet your kitchen, uh, uh, how to order all of the things that you need to uh, adhere to my Mediterranean diet. What is, what is Mediterranean? It's a little bit of keto plus Mediterranean that equals Mediterranean. And that's what I'm gonna show you today uh, with this incredible recipe. So what you need, water, filtered water, uh, which I have here. Uh, you're gonna need some onion powder, garlic powder, celery powder, coriander powder, some fresh parsley, fresh thyme, two bay leaves, uh, sea salt, and black pepper. So this is a really easy recipe to make. It's gonna keep a long time in your fridge. And one of the great things of, about uh, this diet that I've created, it, there's a lot of flexibility. So when I wrote other books, um, you know, in all of my research, we know that the Mediterranean diet is the best diet for brain health. But in my other research, you know, I, I'm sure a lot of your friends are on keto, uh, they're using intermittent fasting. Well, my diet in the Sugar Brain Fix is the best of both worlds. And of course, it's based on the landmark study that found that sugar and bad fats are actually shrinking the human brain as they expand our waistlines. So what if you could actually put those two diets together? Um, so this broth and actually the bone broth, if you do eat animal products, can actually keep your blood sugar and insulin nice and low. And when you do that, uh, like the keto diet, you can force your body to turn to, instead of glucose, stored body fat for fuel. Um, and in addition to helping to shrink your waistline, that is also one of the best things you can do to increase something called BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which has been called miracle grow for the brain. So it's going to help you grow your brain as you shrink your waistline. So how do you make this very simple recipe? Uh, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna use four cups of filtered water, put it in a large pot. One. Two. And four. Uh, by the way, this is a recipe that makes about four servings. Uh, if you have a large family, you can double, triple, quadruple this recipe. I'm going to turn the heat on high. Um, because it keeps about two weeks, uh, you can make a huge batch of this vegan broth. It can be used for uh, your fasting state or it can be a great recipe, uh, a great meal uh, to have in the middle of the day. Uh, it's filled with some anti-inflammatory agents, some great foods, herbs, spices. Um, so it's just a great little snack. When you're feeling hungry, you want to snack on something. And instead of snacking on something that's going to take your blood sugar and your insulin on that roller coaster, as it shrinks your brain, you can turn to this great food. Uh, so then you want to uh, start with a tablespoon of onion powder.
tablespoon of garlic powder. Tablespoon of celery powder. One tablespoon of coriander powder. So I'm getting a little stuck. I don't know about you, but I love store-bought uh, bone broths. Uh, in my book, there's also a discount code uh, for my other favorite bone broth uh, from bonebroth.com. Um, but they both tend to be very expensive. Um, the one that I find at uh, Whole Foods, Gelson's is expensive um, because of the slow simmering process. Um, it makes sense that they're expensive. Um, so this can be a great cost-effective alternative as well. Um, we're going to use one tablespoon of fresh parsley. I feel like my friend Rachel Ray here. Hi, Rachel. <laughs> Uh, we are going to use uh, one tablespoon of uh, fresh thyme. Maybe one day I'll have a cooking show myself. I'm not great at recipes, which is why uh, I'm so grateful to my friend Liana for creating these fantastic recipes and why I also chose to cook the simplest of all the recipes. Uh, in the book today, but maybe you're a better cook than I am. Um, I also just love recipes and foods that are easy to grab and go. I don't know about you, but Chris and I are very busy in our lives, so something that you could put in a mug is just fantastic for um, a busy lifestyle, something you can even travel with. We're always in the car, uh, commuting, heading back and forth to Palm Springs. Um, and then two bay leaves. One, two. One teaspoon of sea salt. And one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. I'm do a pinch. And you're gonna let that cook for eight minutes. Let me give that a little stir here. And already it just has this incredible aroma. Um, it's winter, it has that really nice, wonderful, savory smell. And if you are somebody who is vegan, or maybe you want to just incorporate more plant-based foods um, and just move away from uh, eating so many animal products. This is just wonderful. I mean, I can tell you it almost tastes or uh, it almost has this uh, a smell uh, of chicken noodle soup to me already. Uh, and one of the things that I talk about uh, in my book and one of the things that was, uh, if anyone watched the Golden Globes uh, this week, they were talking about, of course, one of the things that we should all be aware of, whether you are vegan or you are an omnivore, uh, which is, of course, our planet. And my heart goes out to all of uh, the people in Australia. Uh, my friend Liana, who wrote these recipes, who created them, is Australian. And yes, I think we should all be doing something. Even if you choose to eat meat, can we choose to eat less meat? Um, one of the surprising things that I think so many um, people, uh, the early adopters of my book, um, I have some testimonial cases um, in the Sugar Brain Fix. Um, people were really surprised to learn um, that sugar 
is very water intensive. Um, like eating beef, it requires a lot of water uh, to produce just one teaspoon of sugar. So if you eat less animal products, if you're eating less sugar, you are really helping our planet. Uh, you are really doing your part to uh, really um, save our planet, uh, to really make an impact on reversing or at least uh, preventing global warming from getting any worse, right? So this could hopefully be, be a part of that. And you are also reversing sugar brain. So sugar brain could be the first stop um, to some scary diseases, dementia, Alzheimer's, major depression. Um, it shrinks the same part of the brain that we see um, that's shrunken in those very scary diseases. But here's the good news, sugar brain is reversible. Uh, so we know that if you catch this early, if you look down to your waistline and you see that there's a little bit of extra belly fat there compared to a year ago, well, guess what? It's 2020. Now is the time. I know so many people have probably overindulged uh, over the holiday season. I know uh, Chris and I just got back from Louisiana. I was in Las Vegas while Chris was working some ER shifts in the hospital, uh, seeing my family. Uh, and, and I know it's so hard, right? Um, so no matter where you are uh, in the country, I know uh, here in Los Angeles, it's easier to find healthier foods. Uh, we can find these healthier foods or, or actually make them. Um, and it's never too late. Uh, if you have 10 pounds or 200 pounds to lose, uh, this is a great program uh, for you to really say, I can actually shrink my waistline and grow my brain. There is an inverse relationship between belly fat and brain volume. So one of the no, one of the ways you can predict that you have sugar brain um, is by just looking at your waistline. If there's a little bit of extra belly fat there, chances are you probably have sugar brain. Uh, you may actually feel foggy. You may feel stuck and impulsive because when you start to shrink that part of the brain, you're going to feel blue. Your moods are going to go on those ups and downs. You're gonna have some mood swings. You're gonna feel impulsive and stuck. And it kind of uh, creates this downward spiral. And uh, unfortunately, the more you shrink your brain, the harder it is to get out of that rut, which is why I also have incorporated cognitive behavioral therapy and self-hypnosis to get you out of that rut. Um, sort of the, the how do you change, not just what you need to do. Because I've also found that so many people really struggle. I also find that for, for me, adhering to a, oh, I'm just going to eat a low calorie diet for the rest of my life, I, I have to say that that just sounds really boring and it's not something that I could ever do. Um, so I put my parents on this plan. Uh, they say in healthcare that the ultimate test, if you believe in a treatment, it's to put your mom on it. And that's what I did. And my mom had plateaued. And you know, her points-based program, it worked for her to an extent. So I, I wanna say that I believe that those programs can work for some people to an extent, but like many people on points-based programs, she had reached this plateau. So she lost 30 pounds and then she was just sort of stuck there. And then after following my program for 28 days, and she added my program onto that points-based program, using the Keta training philosophy, the template, and she lost another uh, approximately 10 pounds in 28 days, and she broke past that plateau. Um, so you'll find that the Keta training template, it's friendly with points-based programs, uh, with vegan diets, um, if you're pescatarian, uh, if you're gluten-free, you can find ways to make this program work for you. And for me, uh, I, I tend to love food. I am a sensation seeker. Uh, my genetic testing confirmed that. <laughs> I have abnormalities in my uh, dopamine D2 receptors. Uh, so, so for me, I would much rather enjoy my food uh, on certain days and then find some days where I'm skipping meals um, so that I can actually uh, love life love meals, but then actually find times to shred that belly fat. Um, because we are all um, in, in times storing carbohydrates, right? Our body takes those carbohydrates, it, uh, we use glucose, and then when there's an excess, uh, our body stores them as glycogen, 
Uh, and then we can actually switch that. We can actually, with a little bit of fasting, which my program has, that's sort of the, the keto element of my program, uh, we can actually bust through the glycogen stores uh, with just a little bit of intermittent fasting. Uh, so then we're actually turning to the stored fat for fuel, working through our glycogen stores and then forcing our body to turn to stored fat. Um, instead of glucose because there's no, no there is actually no glucose available uh, when we're fasting and you're already fasting at night which is why in my program you're either going to skip dinner or breakfast or sometimes a dinner and a breakfast if you'd like um, and there's a lot of flexibility in that program as well um, and, and the other thing which I think is really interesting is your body learns what you are doing right so you can't tell your body okay don't don't lower my metabolism. And, and this variety, it sort of is tricking your body to never lower your metabolism. So you're skipping meals, but not the same meal every day and not every day. And what that does is it tricks your body to never lower your metabolism. Um, because it, while intermittent fasting is great, even people who are eating just one meal a day, if you're gonna adhere to that to the rest of your life, that's great. But what happens if you give that up your body has lowered its metabolism, and then if you go back to eating three meals a day, you're gonna gain weight. Um, so this program is really a, a little bit of a, it's sort of Jedi mind tricking your body into giving that weight up while keeping your metabolism high, which is why all of the people who follow my program, people who are related to me and some people who are not related to me, you'll read their stories in the book, um, why they all lost weight. So. Now, of course, the fun part. The taste test. Delicious. It, it really does taste like a, a really nice broth of um, chicken noodle soup. Very comforting. Um, if you have a cold right now, it's cold and flu season. Uh, a really delicious alternative to chicken noodle soup. Um, again, you can use this um, in those fasted windows as part of my program or uh, the bone broth recipes. Um, again, there is a discount code to bonebroth.com in my book that you can use. And don't forget, um, if you pre-order uh, between now and January 13th, uh, don't forget to go to drmikedow.com and get your two free bonus gifts for pre-ordering. Uh, so I thank you so much. Uh, give this video a share if you want to share this vegan broth recipe uh, with somebody you love, and I will see you soon.